Chitra, Department of Computer Science, PV One Year Perumal College for Women, Virudhunagar. Today we are going to see about operator overloading. C++ is a pure object oriented programming language. It has four basic concepts such as abstraction, inheritance, encapsulation and polymorphism. Today we are going to see about operator overloading. In C++, we are going to use the same operators to perform different actions based on the data type of values passed. For example, what does operator overloading means? If we are going to perform addition operation, we are going to use the operator plus. But if we pass the values such as, if we pass two integer values, it is going to add the two values. If we pass two float values, it will going to add. In C++, operator overloading is an important concept. Here, we are going to perform an uh, overloading in operators. That is, we are going to use plus operator for performing addition operation. In case of passing different data types to this operation, we can perform some other action. For example, if we pass two integer values or two floating point values means the addition operator going to add the two values and display the result. But if we pass the string value means it will going to perform concatenation operation. So based on the data type, the operator going to perform different actions. This is called operator overloading in C++. So first we, we are going to see how to perform overloading in C++. First we have to define a class where you, uh, you are going to perform operator overloading. Second in public declaration, in the scope public declaration we have to declare the operator function. This operator function is going to perform the operation we meant to, to perform. Next, we have to define the operator function in the class we are going to perform operator overloading. Here, here is a syntax for performing operator overloading using operator function. So, first we have to mention the return type and the operator keyword and the operator symbol we are going to use followed by the list of parameters. parameters. And within the operator function, you have to mention all the statements to perform that particular operation. Next, we, are, we can use either friend function or member function to perform operator overloading. So, what is the difference between friend function and member function means? If you are using friend function to perform operator overloading means, you have to explicitly pass all the arguments to the operator function but if you are using member function means you have to pass one argument for binary operators and no argument for unary operator when you are using member function means an object is implicitly passed as one argument that's why we are passing one argument for binary operator and none, uh, no argument for unary operators Next, we are going to see how to implement the operator overloading for unary operators and for binary operators. For unary operators, we have two, uh, three operators plus plus that is increment and minus minus decrement and unary minus operators. So, here we need only single operand that is why we call it as unary operators. Next, we are going to see how to overload this unary operators. Here, I am taking increment operator that is plus plus. For this purpose, I am defining a class as num and in private declaration part, I am declaring four integer values that is int a comma b comma c comma d and in public part, I am having a constructor called num. And I am going to initialize values for this four variables a, b, c, d. So, I am passing four integer values as arguments for this uh, constructors. So, num of int j, comma, int k, comma, int m, comma, int l. 
for the variable a, I am going to assign the value j passed through, through this parameterized constructor and for the variable b, I am going to assign the value k and for the variable c, I am going to assign the value m and for the variable d, I am going to assign the value l and we have one more method called show off which is used to show the values of these variables. So here we have the declaration here. So void show off void. Here we are not passing any arguments and we are not going to return any value. And the important function is operator function to perform the unary operator overloading. So void operator operator is a keyword and here we are using the increment operator so plus plus and we pass the empty parenthesis because it is a member function so we need not to pass any values so next we can see how to define these functions so for show of i am simply showing the values of the variables a b c d so using the cout statement a is equal to variable a and b is equal to variable b and c is equal to variable c and d is equal to variable d. And next we are going to define the operator function. So it should begin with the return type. So return type declared is void and the class name is num and the scope resolution operator followed by the function name operator and the function and the operator plus plus. Here we are not passing any argument. So empty parenthesis. So what is the purpose of using increment operator? It means uh, we are going to simply increment the values of the variables. So the coding is very simple. Plus plus a for incrementing the a with 1. So a is equal to a plus 1 is return as plus plus a with the help of increment operator and plus plus b and plus plus c and plus plus d. That's all about the uh, that is all about the definition part of operator function. Now we are move, move on to the main function. So in main we are going to declare a object for the class num. So num x. So x is considered to be an object for this class num and we are using parameterized constructor so we have to pass the values through these objects so x of 3 comma 2 comma 5 comma 7 so 3 is assigned for a and 2 is assigned for b and 5 is assigned for c and 7 is assigned for d so before increment we are going to display the values of these objects so x dot show off is called next we have to call the operator function so plus plus x so next after incrementing the values in the object again we are going to call the show off function so x dot show off finally return so this will be the output of the previous programs program so before increment of x we have the value for a as 3 and we have the value for b as 2 and we have the value for c as 5 and d as 7 so after increment 3 will be incremented to 4 and b 2 will be incremented to 3 and for C, 5 will be incremented for uh, 2, 6 and 7 will be incremented as 8 for D. Next, we are going to see about how to overload binary operator. So, what is binary operator? We need two operands to perform the binary operations. So, in this case, we can use either member function or, or we can use friend function. So, if you are using Member function for performing binary operator overloading means you have to pass only one argument because the object will be implicitly passed as the second argument. So here is an example operator of num o2. Here num is a class name and o2 is an object. So when you are calling the binary operator you, you have to When you are calling the binary operator overloading operator function, so O3 is equal to O1 plus O2. So if you are using friend function for performing operator overloading for binary operators means you have to pass explicitly both the arguments that is both operands as arguments for the operator function. So here is a syntax O3 is equal to O1 plus O2. That is O3 is equal to operator plus O1 comma 
O2. Explicitly, we have to pass these two arguments. Next, we are going to see about how to perform operator overloading for binary operators. Here, we have the same class name num, num and four integer variables A, B, C, D. In public declaration, we have two methods, input of and show of. To get the values of A, B, C, D, we are going to use the input function and for displaying the values of A, B, C, D, we are going to use the show of function. Next, we have to declare the operator function to perform the operator overloading. So, num operator, the operator here we are going to use is plus operator and we have to pass one argument which is an object of the class. So, num operator plus num. Next, we are going to see the definition. For input of function, y num scope resolution operator input of. So, we are here we have to enter the values of a, b, c, d. So, using the c in statement, we have to get the input from the user for the values of a, b, c, d. Next, in show of function, we have to display the values of a, b, c, d using the c out statement. So, c out a is equal to variable a, b is equal to variable b and c is equal to variable c and d is equal to variable d. Next, the most important thing we are going to see how to overload the binary operator overloading using member function. So, num scope resolution operator, operator keyword plus symbol and num t. Because it's a member function, we have to pass only one argument. So, num temp. So, here we are declaring one more object. So, num temp. temp dot a is equal to a plus t dot a. So, here a is passed a value entered by the user and t dot a is a value passed through the object. So, temp dot p is equal to b plus t dot b and temp dot c is equal to c plus t, t dot c and temp dot d is equal to d plus t dot d. So, here we have to return the values in the object temp. So, return temp. Next, we are going to see how to call these operator function in main method. So, main, here we have to declare three objects for the num class x, y, z. So, for our object x, we have to get the input from the user. So, x dot input of and for the object y, we have to get the input from the user. So, y dot input of. So, z is equal to x plus y. So, after that, we have to display what are all the values in x, y and z object. So, c of x, x dot show of and y, y dot show of and z, z dot show. That's all. So, next we are going to see the output for the program. So, for the object x, the value entered for a, b, c, d is 1, 4, 2, 1. And value for the object b is 2, 5, 4, 2. So, here we are displaying the values of the variables a, b, c, d for x and for the values of variables for a, b, c, d for the object y. And what is the answer? So, z is equal to 1 plus 2, 3, 4 plus 5, 9 and 2 plus 4, 6 and 1 plus 2, 3. Next, we are going to do the same binary operator overloading using the friend function. So, class num a, B, C, D, three variables, three integer variables. In public scope, we have we have three methods. So, void input and void show and friend num operator. Here, we are going to use the multiplication operator. So, we are using the asterisk symbol. And we have to pass both the arguments. That is, what are all the two values going to be multiplied? should be passed as arguments for this operator function. So, the first argument passed is an integer variable and the second argument passed is a object of the class. Next, in the input of function that is boy num scope resolution operator input of, we are going to get the values of a, b, c, d from the user using the c in statement. And in the show of method, we are going to display the values of a, b, c, d using the c out statement here is a operator function for performing the multiplication operation using friend function so num operator keyword 
and the asterisk symbol and the first value is integer value and the second value is a num that is object so num tem so tem dot a is equal to the integer value a into t dot a and tem dot p is equal to the integer value a multiplied by t dot b and the temp dot c is equal to the integer value multiplied by t dot c and temp dot t is equal to the integer value a multiplied by t dot t and return the object for this operator function next in main fun method we have to use two objects so num x comma z so x dot input of that is we have to get the values of a b c d for the object x and z is equal to we are going to add the constant value 3 for all the four variables so 3 into x so the values passed for a b c d will be multiplied with 3 here and next we have to show the values of a using the show of function so x dot show off and for the object z we have to call the z dot show off. So here is the output for object, object x. The values entered by the user will be 1, 2, 2, 3 means the values in A for x is 1 and b 2 and c 2 and d 3. So what will be the multiplication? So z is equal to 1 into 3, 3 and b 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and c 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and d 3 into 3 is equal to 9 and that's all about operator overloading in c plus plus and thank you all